Hello everyone and welcome to a quick update of the Kratky uh, bottle tower system that I built. Um, it's been now a few weeks since I started the, um, to, to run it, uh, to test it, this little pilot project you can say. And um, there's it's both good and bad, let's say. <laughs> I'm just going to give you a little overview so far so you can see kind of how it looks. And... There were some things that didn't go well that I was kind of expecting and there were some things that are going still okay despite the um, the issues. So first of all, this whole area does not get a lot of uh, light. It only gets a little bit of natural light and even that is blocked by my upstairs uh, balcony. So it's not perfect. Uh, <laughs> And I think um, I might eventually either move this outside or perhaps even add like lights somewhere here to shine down for the plants to grow up. But that would restrict because that this space is not very big. It's a hand maybe length. So that would restrict what can be grown. Uh, but then again, the bottles already restrict that somewhat. So it's possible that it's fine for small basil and the lettuce and small herbs and leafy greens. Then uh, you might notice um, that the three shelves in the bottom kind of look better than the ones in the top. And basically everything above kind of is not, was not able to grow. And what has been able to grow looks extremely uh, elongated, not very green. So on top of there not being that much light, I think that also I added these seedlings very uh, early, way too early. And both these problems affect more the upper shelves. So the ones that I had above didn't make it. And the ones below that I added a bit later with more roots developed uh, were not, it didn't dry as often. Uh, that's one of the things that tend to happen here, that they dry quite often. It's been warm. Uh, but also, they, yeah, they just, they are able to better get the nutrients and, and survive. So another thing that has happened is not root rot, but algae getting on the, on the, on the roots, which effectively acts the same way, starving the plants. So, um, I've, there's already, uh, I think, two bottles here missing that should be here. And everything else is kind of okay. This one maybe looks like it's about to die. But otherwise, some of them have been doing okay so far. Uh, the basil, I think, has been doing better, surprisingly. I don't know if it's because they are clones, uh, rather than starting from absolute seed or not. But yeah, you can see that it's not the best. So another thing I would do um, as I or I will do as I go forward is as much as I love the different design of the bottles, I think I'm going to cover them all to reduce the possibility of algae. It will not be perfect, but it's the next step in testing, I think. I won't start again with the, or I won't start immediately with the light just because I want to see if it can work with natural light. I mean, I have something here in this other window that has been growing, um, which is the same thing, basically slightly bigger. Uh, these are, I think, two liter uh, packages and these are tomatoes growing and and some other things. So this has been working fine. And I think it's because it gets more light also. Not that there hasn't been issues. Some of the plants there also had issues, but those packages I'm using uh, cover the light better. So probably that is a big factor. However, those packages don't work on this design that I made specifically for the bottles. So so that's it. So I will continue to monitor this. I have almost run out of most of my seedlings now. I can still get basil. So if all this lettuce dies, I might continue with the basil, replacing these bot uh, bottom ones with basil. So long as I see that the basil is still holding out. 
because I don't know, there could be something with the lettuce that is not working out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep keeping keeping an eye on this, testing it. Uh, maybe I will get rid of these three shelves and just, for example, start with the basil. Uh, maybe not this last one. Could could still hold on. I don't know, but you can see the color is very pale. When you compare, for example, with this. And yeah, these other ones just not good, not hopeful. But yeah, I will continue to experiment and I will do probably one other update on this. And uh, in the meantime, I might start some other seedlings to get ready and think a bit more about how to handle the light situation. And I think those are the two big limitations. It's the lack of light and the algae growth on the bottles. So that was a quick update. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.